Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm going to walk you through a fix for your WhatsApp status not showing. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's jump in. If you're trying to post a status and nobody can see your status, or you know you can't see somebody else's status, I'm going to walk you through a fix for both of those. Let's start with if you're posting a status and nobody's seeing it, people are telling you they can't see your status, um, we want to make sure that your settings are appropriate. So what we're going to do is go over to settings at your bottom right-hand corner, and then we're going to go to account. And then we're going to privacy and then status here it gives you the option this is where you know you can move it and this default it should be my contact so anybody in your contacts can see it so if it's not there it could be on you know my contacts except for these people or only share with these people if that's the case all you have to do is click on my contacts and then everybody in your contacts can see your status now let's go back and right now we're on our page the status page if you know they're still not seeing it the next thing to do is to make sure that they have saved your contact in their contacts and it goes vice versa for the next part if uh, you can't see somebody else's status it's because you cannot see a status if it's not saved in your contacts so right now like I have three people here if I'm looking up searching you know somebody else's name and it's not coming up that means they're not saved in my contacts and so that means that I can't see their status you need to make sure that they have your name and number saved and vice versa, you have their name and number saved and then you guys can see each other's statuses. Now, in the off chance that all of that is not working, like you have all your settings right and you're both saved appropriately in the, each other's contacts, there could just be a glitch in the system. So I'm gonna walk you through a way to reset it really quick and uh, you won't do anything to your personal information on your app, but it will reset it to get out those glitches. So to do that, we're gonna go out of our WhatsApp and we're gonna go over to our settings. Then we're gonna go to general, then iPhone storage. And then once this loads, we're gonna go down and we're gonna find WhatsApp. And we're gonna click offload. Offloading the app is basically just refreshing it. Like I said, it's, um, you know, you just reinstall. Not gonna do anything to your personal information, but it does get out all the glitches. It's like if you deleted the app and then re-downloaded it from your app store. So nothing bad to your information or anything. And it doesn't do anything to your phone either. It just, you know, resets it. So once that resets, we can go back in the app and it should be working perfectly fine. If you guys have any questions on that, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.